This is every single upgrade card that is not a uh, franchise card. So this is any upgrade that affects any dishes that you have or affects any customers or affects any um, just overall status of your restaurant. And I think they're they're colored. So like it's, I think the purple ones are with customers. They're all kind of close in color, but <laughs> all right. Yeah, so we're going to go through, there are 75 of them, but I think some of them are empty. These are basically all the ones that are in the game, uh, but not all of them are used. So if those are there, we'll just leave them out. All right, so the first one is customers, the first one is customers can order twice. And you get minus 30%. But it's pretty bad. If it was basically like... If every single customer orders twice, it's so much worse. Because the main thing is you want to like make the customers leave. And if you have multiple courses, then they can order twice. So this one, I would say, is B. You don't take it all the time. But if you don't, if you don't have soup, and if you don't have dessert, it's not bad. Ordering twice is double duration. Yeah. It is. But the thing is, is like getting this is sort of like getting a dessert. If you don't have a dessert already, this is like saying customers can order pizza for dessert. So this one isn't that bad. It's not great though. Uh, double helpings. Increased chance of double orders, increased side dessert and starter orders. Yeah, this one sucks. It's not horrible. But yeah, all you can eat, yeah, very situational. Can be good, can be very bad. Uh, apple pies, adds apple pie as a dessert. I'm pretty sure it's not a dessert anymore. I think it's just a side for a pie. Uh, but this one's fine. Getting apple pie is not bad at all. Um, adding apple salad as a main. I love the extra salads. I think potato salad sucks. But apple salad is pretty good because the minus 30% is insane. And apple salads are the exact same order every single time. It's like you get lettuce, you chop an apple, you put egg whites and cashews or nuts. And you can automate that because it's the exact same order every time. And then you get minus 30%, which is huge. Uh, black coffee. So of the desserts, black coffee is probably the best. I would say it's black coffee, ice cream, and then... Uh, cheese board because black coffee can be automated and it's the exact same thing every time so I think black coffee is pretty good to grab when you can get the option um, adds toast as a main okay so there's a lot where it just adds stuff as a main like adds toast as a main adds burgers as a main let's see adds all the ones that add normal things as a main like they kind of suck because they don't really give you like this one doesn't give you any extra or any less customers. I think all the ones that add mains are terrible. Because basically you're just adding complexity for no reason. It's so like adds toast as a main, adds burgers as a main. But when it's like a side or like a different thing to... Uh, like if it's like a different type of burger or like chopped cheese, that's different. But if you're adding like a whole new recipe, it basically doubles what you have to do in the kitchen. For no real benefit. Um, adds beans as a toast topping. This is just a side, and beans basically last forever. You get, what, like five, I think? And beans are super easy to make. I think beans are fine. Um, adds eggs. Eggs are the same as beans. You can automate it super easily, and it lowers your customer count. Adds chopped tomato and chopped mushroom to breakfast. This one is just worse than beans. Beans is so much easier than having to chop two things. Can you skip beans with metal tables? No. So this affects the uh, the main course. It doesn't count as a side. Like you serve it up on the same plate. It's like adding um, adding like a different salad. Like olives or like onions. It's not a side on a salad. It's just how the salad is ordered. So these are not optional with the metal table. Um, broccoli is a side. Broccoli is not too bad to make. All you have to do is put it in water, boil it, and then you get a lot of sides from it. Yeah, broccoli's fine. Adds chopped tomato and onion as burger toppings. 
burger, I think the main reason burger is so good is because burger is so easily automated. I think with burger, you're fine with a high amount of people. And you can automate it with like three grabbers and like one combiner. And then an auto plater. So I think adding any complexity to burgers doesn't make sense. Other courses are fine, but I think the normal burgers is... You just keep it how it is. Uh, adds carrot soup as a starter. Carrot soup is the probably worst appetizer you can take. <laughs> Soups suck. Soups are so, so bad. And carrot soup takes the longest out of all of them. Yeah, carrot soup takes so long to make, and it's only like three servings. So if you accidentally, or if you serve all of your carrot soup and forget to make more, and then you take someone's order and they want carrot soup, you probably just lose right off of that. Which is very, 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 very bad. Uh, personalized waiting allows customer to change their order. This one, I think, is really good to take. It doesn't really mess you up too much. The only time this is bad is if you have the one where their order disappears when you get far away from them. There's one where, like, when you get, like, a certain distance away, you can't see their order anymore. And they can still change their order when you cannot see what it is. Uh, so that is... <laughs> that's the only time it's bad. But I don't know. It's 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 very situational. If you're serving fish and you have a ton of different options, then it can kind of suck. But for the most part, you're only serving a few things. This, actually, I'll put this in B. Because this could give you, I think, for minus 15%, this would be fantastic. But it can kind of screw you over a little bit. Um, cheese board is the worst dessert, I would say. I really don't like taking cheese board. Just because you have to clean, you have to bust the table. Like, if you had to bust black coffee, then it'd be about the same. I, just, I still think it would be worse. I still think if you didn't have to bust cheese board, black coffee would be better. Just because black coffee is so easily automated. Uh, chopped cheese to burger, I think it's same with all the burger toppings. I think you try to avoid burger toppings. Chips as a side aren't bad. I think most sides are pretty good. Just because it's pretty easy to get metal tables and chips are pretty easy to make and not many people order them. And the minus 15% is great. Uh, customers can arrive after closing time. So all the ones that give a huge uh, like rush, like closing, yeah, so closing time, dinner rush. Actually, I'm gonna put them all down here. And then there's morning rush. All of these suck. All of these are so, so bad. Because if it just increased the amount of customers, like let's say it increased your customer count by 12, that's not bad at all, but they come all at once. So you let's say you have three tables and you serve one to two people, and then you have 12 people coming all at once. Like the timer for people waiting outside is going down immediately, and you have maybe seven groups waiting outside at the start of the day. <laughs> So, okay, so Morning Rush, I think, is the worst. I mean, they're all bad. Yeah, I mean, they all suck. I mean, Morning... Let's see, Carrot is the worst F tier. And then these, like, are manageable, and I think adding other mains is worse. All right, uh, Crab Cake is the worst addition of the fish, just because it's the most complex. Because you have to have an egg and you have to put flour on it. And all the other fish you can just chop and cook. So crab cake sucks. I'll put crab cake in F. I would not <laughs> I would not want to take crab cake. I think it's worse than the rushes as well. Uh, leisurely eating is by far the worst thing you can take. It's so much worse than all you can eat. So leisurely eating, the way it works is it adds 10 seconds to the amount of time it takes to eat anything. So let's say you have an appetizer, a main, and a dessert. It adds 10 seconds to each of those. So at minimum, it adds 30 seconds per table. And I, if it was minus 30%, still would be probably the worst card in the game. Because <laughs> I think like steaks, or like a burger, for example, let's say it takes four seconds, and then it goes to 14. It doesn't even double it, which is insane. So, yeah, it kind of sucks. Is closing time a rush, though? Uh, yes. So, closing time, it uh, it's not actually at the end of the day. 
So there's like the, the timer bar of the day. And then the morning rush is like a third of the way in. Dinner rush is like like midday? Or is there a midday rush? Um Yeah, I think those are the only three rushes. And this one, uh the dinner rush is like midday. Lunch rush? Where is that at? Oh, okay. Yeah, closing time's a little bit better. Sorry, I thought this was dinner rush. Yeah, lunch rush. Morning rush and dinner rush are all horrible. Horrible. And then uh closing time is fine. Yeah, closing time just basically makes your day longer, but it doesn't make it any harder. So yeah, closing time is perfectly fine to take. Alright, uh, players walk slowly when near customers. This one, I think, is completely fine to take. The only time it's not is when you're not serving over counters, but I think for the most part, uh, most people are taking, uh, seeds where they can serve food over counters. So this actually doesn't make a difference to anything. But I don't think it's S just because you could be in a seed where you can't serve over counters. Um, adds blue fish and red fish as a main. This is similar to all these. Honestly, I'm just going to leave these out because these aren't really cards that you get anymore, I don't think. Except for, um, can I move this? Yeah. Oh no, this is fish fillet. Yeah, I'll take those out. Atmosphere is horrible. Yeah, it is if you are not serving over counters. So I guess I can move it down a little bit. Because at least like 90% of my runs, I'm using a seed where I can serve over counters and it doesn't make a difference at all. I think it's good. But in random seeds, it's bad. So I guess for, for everyone, it's probably here. Uh, fish fillet is great. I love taking fish fillet. All you have to do is chop it before you cook it, and it actually cooks faster than bluefish. Um, adds fish slot. Adds another fish slot. I guess they're the same thing. Yeah, adding fish slot is not bad at all. The only time it's bad is if you're going a small restaurant and it just kind of cramps up the space. Flexible dining is, I think it's okay. It doesn't really change much. It really depends. Because if you ha you can only get this once you have the 4 to 2. Because you can't have it in the 2 to 1. Because then it would make your minimum group size 0. So one thing is, it doesn't say on these. But some of these cards are reliant on you already having other ones. So, like, flexible dining is reliant on um, medium groups. But I think it's okay. But, yeah, so medium groups I think is fantastic. I love serving uh, bigger groups. I think this is, like, a card that actually makes it easier. Because if you have auto busing, like, the only reason this is bad is if you don't have auto busing. But if you have auto busing, you're just taking all the plates off and you can turn tables so much faster. And you can serve so much faster. And then same with large groups. I think if you take I think you try and take these whenever you can. Assuming your um Assuming your restaurant's big enough. I think these are fantastic. Uh fresh patties kinda suck. Same with all the burger toppings. I think you don't want to change up your burgers. Customer orders are hidden when not nearby. Uh, this is totally fine. The only time this is bad is when you have um, personalized waiting. But this literally doesn't affect like anything. The only time like it might be bad is if you have plus two maximum group size, plus two group size, and you have six people and you can't remember all of their orders. But for the most part, you have two to four people and it's fairly easy to remember. Um, customer patience is hidden. Not too bad. Because it does start shaking. You can still see that. I normally don't like taking it. Actually, I'll move it down. Yeah. It's not too bad, but it is nice to know, like, if someone's struggling. But the only thing is, is normally you lose from people waiting outside. So you normally don't even lose off of customer patience. 
All right, uh, process progress is hidden. That is, you take that all the time. It's so good <laughs> because it doesn't matter. Um, let's see, customer skin request mustard, I think is A. Just because it's basically the same thing as ketchup and you get 15% less customers. And you can automate it as well with two grabbers. Yeah, I, I basically take mustard whenever I can. I think it's fantastic. Hold up, I need to let uh, Tris get out. All right. Mustard S tier. Honestly, you're probably right. <laughs> I, I think mustard is S tier. I think mustard is fantastic. It's like the only upgrade that doesn't add any complexity. You just have to get one extra rack of sauce. Um, adds hot dogs to the main. Yeah, we'll move that one down here. Adds ice cream. Yeah, so desserts, it goes black coffee, then ice cream, then cheese board. So I'll just put it right in between. Mustard about to be nerfed? I don't think so. I think it's I think it's good where it is. Minus one maximum group size. So individual dining can be good. I kind of hate it though. Because you can get like a ton of like, you can do metal table, regular table, bar table, and like interlock them. And then you have like eight tables, but you can't auto bus. But you're only grabbing one plate at a time. But I think the later on you go and the more customers you get, this is horrible. A customer's order without waiting. This is uh, S tier. This is fantastic. It basically allows you to serve tables faster. <laughs> Cheese board can be automated unlike ice cream though. Uh, yes, but busing is worse than just making ice cream. Having to bust the cheese board's horrible. Because you can't, you can't really automate busing the cheese board. Unless you prioritize that over a dirty dish, which would make no sense. Um, earn 25% less money. That's A tier. Because it doesn't make anything harder. But depending on your dish, 25% is kind of... Can kind of matter. If you have like burgers and aren't making any money. Or if you're taking a lot of like minus percentages. Uh, customers lose patience when looking at players. This one isn't bad either. Especially because it doesn't work over counters. And if you're serving over counters... And if you're close to them, you're serving them for the most part. Mashed potatoes aside, mashed potatoes is probably the best side, I think. Just because it's unlimited. Broccoli is not unlimited. Chips, you have to make one at a time. Mashed potatoes, you make at the beginning and you're good to go for the whole time. So I think mashed potatoes are probably the best side. Actually, I might put them in S. I think they're the best side, so I think I'll put them in S. I think there's one side that can probably go there. Uh, soup, horrible, but carrot soup is worse. Messes are created in a wider area. This one can be bad, but similar to all the other ones, if you're serving over counters, it doesn't matter. The mess can go over the counter, though. So yeah, this one's kind of bad. Uh, increased mess created by customer, about the same as Splash Zone. And then 25% more customers is horrible. Just for no reason, you're adding like potentially 20 customers when you're like in overtime. And let's see, we have advertising again. So we'll move that down. Put that right there. Um, adds mushroom pie as a main, I think is great. Just because it's super easy and you can automate all the pies. And it's easier than vegetable pie because you only have to add mushroom instead of carrot and onion let's see adds chopped mushroom to pizza i think pizza is similar to burgers and also this one actually doesn't reduce your customers which i think is stupid <laughs> i think if burger toppings reduce customers then mushroom toppings should as well yeah i don't think you take this um nut roast for 15% extra customers, and it's blank. That's S tier. Uh, desks can only be used once per day. This isn't really that bad. Because you can only use like blueprint desk, uh, research desk, stuff like that. Copy desk. 
It really depends on if you have a ton of blueprint cabinets. I think it's B. Mushroom topping F tier? No. Because I think mushroom topping is definitely better than all of these. Like, it's the worst C tier. Um, adds chopped onions, pizza topping. Yeah, same thing. Onion rings as a side are B tier alongside broccoli and chips. I think they are the worst of these. I think broccoli's... Broccoli's probably A. Chips and onion rings have to be made individually. Which kind of sucks. Oysters... Are a little bit worse than fish fillet. I mean, not really. Oysters are pretty good. I like taking oysters too. Some people complain about them, but like, I think if you get an automatic mixer, okay, yeah, I'll put it B because it requires you to have a mixer. It's really hard if you don't, or it's really annoying if you don't have one. 20% uh, less patience. Not terrible. Kind of annoying. Because normally you're not losing off of this, off of serving. You're losing off people outside. But I don't think it's a big deal. But if you do lose, lose off of it, it's definitely it definitely sucks. Um, adds meat pies a main. Move that down here. Adds pizzas a main. Move that down. Potato salad as a main dish. So potato salad similar to apple salad. Um, adds a main dish. And it's minus 30% which is huge. But potato salad is so much worse to make. Apple salad is so simple, and potato salad sucks. Uh, food burns 100% faster. I grab that one all the time. Most of the time, you're not burning, especially if you have it automated, then you're never going to burn. Sometimes it can suck. Like, you might burn every now and then, but I don't think it ever kills your run. And I think the later it goes, the less this matters. Um, add salad as a main. Move that down. That's just new mains. Adds olives, onions... Olives and onions as a salad topping. I think this is great. I think you want this on salad all the time. It doesn't make salads... Actually, I don't know. It is kind of frustrating. It's hard to pre-chop salads. If you have chopped onions, though, then it's very easy just to add them. Because the olives like don't take any time at all. You just click the salad on it. I think salad toppings are pretty good. All processes are 20% slower. Not terrible. I think the later in the game you go, the easier it is. Because if you have automation stuff is being cooked anyways, most of the time you have more food than you have time to serve. So I think there's very few situations. This could like mess you up on coffee if you don't have coffee automated. Yeah, I'll move it down to B. Add steak as a main. Mushroom sauce as steak topping. I hate the... Um, the steak toppings. So steak sauce, or mushroom sauce and red wine sauce, I think are terrible. Um, and then, yeah, adds mushroom and steak topping. Yeah, I'll actually, I actually want these on. C. And then tomato is steak topping. I didn't know there were so many steak toppings. <laughs> yeah, I think they kind of suck. Uh, stir fry, move that down with other ones. Adds chopped meat to stir fry. So... I don't have stir fry. So I'm going to put this in F tier. <laughs> Adds thick steak as main dish. This one actually isn't bad. I think this is better than steak toppings. It just takes a little bit longer to cook. But you just cook it the same way. Then cut steaks, same thing. I think getting more steaks is better than topping. And then steak probably better than pizza toppings. They're minus 30%. Steak toppings are minus 15%. Uh, tomato soup is horrible, but not as bad as meat and not as bad as carrot. Um, turkey up there with the nuts. And then adding a vegetable pie. Vegetable pie is... I mean, I, th I still think it's great. I think pies, you want three different types of pies for the minus 15%. And then these are all the main dishes or ones that we have already done before with the advertising and the fish because you can get them multiple times. But yeah. That is my tier list of the cards that you can get. I think the best cards that you can get are medium groups and large groups. I think it's, 
I think getting big group sizes is fantastic. I like if you okay, so the only time it's bad is if you don't have auto bussing. But if you can get auto bussing of your tables, you 100% want this. Or if you just have like a um, tray stand. Process progress hidden literally does not matter for the most part in anything. Mustard's always fantastic for hot dogs. Customers order without waiting is actually a benefit, in my opinion. And the mashed potatoes are infinite. You only make it once. Yeah. That's the conclusion. Try and get bigger tables. Um, the best dessert, in my opinion, is coffee. Ice cream's not bad. Uh, soups are terrible. Never take soups unless you have to. Just because appetizers, like, they're the only appetizers. Which is another course. Which is horrible. Yeah. Rushes, soups, and leisurely eatings are probably the worst things you can take. I think they're run killers. I think leisurely eating can literally lose you the next round. Soup, you can survive a while. Rush, you can survive a while. But ultimately, it's going to be what... Ultimately, the rush or the soup is going to be what kills you. Leisurely eating is going to... You're going to lose the next round. <laughs> no matter what. Especially if you have other stuff. And then, yeah. Some of the upgrades. Best side is mashed potato than broccoli. The made-to-order ones kind of suck. Of the fish, oysters and crab cakes are the worst. And then for the very simple stuff like pizza and burgers and steaks, making complexity kind of sucks. You would rather just add sides. Didn't leisurely eating end the Roma stands? No, it ended one of my solo runs. Mine and stands run got ended because we were stupid and moved the table. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's my rating. Now it's time to play. And we're going to put this uh, into uh, into action. 